Aloha, everyone. Happy New Year, and thanks for allowing us to come into your home. This time of year is football season, and I'm here with all my friends to enjoy right. the football games in the future. We're going to watch the college bowls. We're going to watch the college playoffs. We're going to watch the NFL playoffs, and we're going to watch the Super Bowl. And all during this time, there's an election, and that election has to do with KUC and their bills. Now, you know that all of our all of our electric bills are the highest in the country, but KIUC is going to put a tariff on top of that for about 3,000 people in the co-op. Now these are the individuals who elected to keep their old meters, not to get smart meters. And that means that they saved KIUC money. But that doesn't satisfy KIUC. They want to charge these people $10 a month to come read their meters. Now, can you think of that? We've never had charges for meter reading. Never in the history of the co-op. And you must ask yourself, well, why is KIUC doing this? Well, they need the money. People on Kauai are smart. They've gotten energy dependent, energy efficient light bulbs, energy efficient utilities, and they're moving to solar to reduce their electric bills. So that means that KIUC is selling electricity over the last two or three years. And they're going to do everything they can to get more money. Now, many individuals on the island have objected to this. And over the course of just two weeks, about 500 people signed petitions to have a recall of this decision. So the upcoming election, which is going to go through the month of January, has a ballot. If you vote yes on the ballot, you support the board, and you support these increased fees. If you vote no, we're, you, you vote no, you reverse the decision of the board, and things will be like they were several months ago. So we're asking all of you to join us and just vote no. no. Now, more on this subject from my associates in the choir. KIUC member has already been paying for meter reading costs. If there is a desire to lower the cost, which should be reflected in a lower bill, please consider one or more of the following options. One, institute a postcard system. Cost, about $4 per year. This is a well-proven system elsewhere in the country. Two, create an online entry system. Three, offer an on automated phone system so people can dial in their readings. Four, offer an online app optical recognition program so members can send in a monthly photograph of their meter. Five, visit once or twice a year and average readings in between. All of these are well proven. In the absence of any willingness to explore reasonable cost savings measures such as these, we can only conclude that the purpose of these new fees is to penalize those members who have educated themselves and choose not to have a smart meter. Among these reasons people decline meters are thus, one, to protect their health, the health of their families, neighbors, tenants, employees, or customers, two, to protect their privacy, both from industry and government use and sale of personal data, and also from hackers with criminal intent, 
Three, concern for the security of the electrical grid. Four, concern that the smart grid is not cost effective and will represent a huge financial li liability to the co-op over time. Five, concern that the smart grid does not save energy as, and is in fact a net loss to the environment. All of these positions are well documented. It is reprehensible to ask people to pay a fee to protect their health. It is unlawful to ask people to pay a fee to preserve their right to privacy guaranteed by the Fourth Amendment. It is arrogant, unwise, and undemocratic to refuse to listen to members who have done careful research on the subject of health, privacy, cost, and environmental aspects of the grid. Such refusal to engage with members in a meaningful dialogue is already responsible for the need for this ballot, which with its inherent costs. If the board continues to refuse to listen, we may find ourselves in a position like PG&E in California, facing a, a class action lawsuit by people who have suffered damages from smart meters, or her, perhaps legal action based on invasion of privacy. Who will be liable for these costs? Surely not the 10% of people who have said no to smart meters. Thank you. 
So thank you, co-op members. We wanted to say thank you for joining us for this little endeavor. And we just wanted to emphasize one last point that together, we're all in this together, and that KIUC is emphasizing that these fees are about the 10%, the 3,000 that have opted out. But in reality, the $50 fees that are being charged to put in the new meters are focused on the 30,000 people. We've already got ours for free. These fees are focused on you who have not yet come in on the opt-out program. So it's not just the 3,000 that they're focusing on, but it's all 33,000 of us that are being targeted with these punitive fees. So please join together. It's together that we solve these issues and together we move forward. Aloha and mahalo.